Let's continue with township business. And I make a motion we elect Larry Horning to the park and rec to continue as he's doing a great job there. Is there a motion to second it? I'm wondering why nobody spoke to Larry. As you mentioned, every other no. one that you spoke to the person. Motion, the motion dies because of lack of second. It seems to be an inappropriate and equitable treatment. We have a, a position open on the sewer authority. And since you already know my position. Yes, you don't want me on the sewer authority. I I think there's a... a no, there's not. There, if, if you want okay, okay. if you want to make a a ruling that no township official can serve in any paying position I could go with that that would mean no township official could serve in any way that gets paid and on the on the Lancaster County sewer authority I get paid twenty five dollars a month so if that's your reason, that no township official should be on a, a board or a commission or a job that gets paid. I'm okay I, with that. I didn't. I didn't make that my, my position. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You just don't want me on it. My position. This is personal. You know that. No, no. Your position is the township official shouldn't be on the, on the sewer authority. Yes. Well, who's going to keep an eye on the sewer authority? That's a Pennsylvania planning or Pennsylvania municipalities. I did. I did. I did, I did not say they. I did that's not, right. You're not I, even I, on a park and rec or anything. Well, nobody's I, on there right I, now. It's not I, I, I did not say that the legal positioning would not allow you to be on the sewer authority. I did not say that. I did not say that. What did you say? I said. You said you'd be uncomfortable. I said be uncomfortable. One of our board is on that. That who's going to be uncomfortable? I might be uncomfortable. Oh, well, I would be very comfortable. I and you know why I said it, it can it can be the appearance that you're representing the board in that position. I I think we have an, an excellent sewer manager. I think we have a good board, and as we try to the, our objectives and vision. So the future is to try to get the younger generation involved. Vacancies can, are, are not uh, destroying the uh, the board. Maybe you could be. Uh, you're younger than me. You're too old. That's discrimination. I know. It's age discrimination. Yes. Okay. No action on the sewer authority. You have a vacancy. Okay. Do you want to move on? Well, we have another application. Do you want to put some action on it? I make a motion to approve the application of Garthwise for uh, the planning commission. Is there a second? That's you. It means up to me. It's definitely up to you. Okay. Um, Fine. You. <laughs> well, let me tell you how I feel. Abram Lincoln said you don't change horses in the middle of a stream. When we asked the Planning Commission to review this subdivision, our zoning, you were you, you voiced your objection to it. The um, Garth has voiced his objection to it. No, I didn't. No, we should get it. It was a parent objection. So, the planning so commission had a to propose rezoning, and then you proposed to appoint Garth to the planning commission. Right. I'm not ready to change a horse or add another team member in the middle of this process. So, how many members are on there? I, I will not second the motion, and the motion will die because of lack of second. Wasn't it Mr. Long who said that it was not good practice to have a supervisor serving on another township board, commission, or authority? I referred to his comment regarding Mr. Mel Boyd's service on the authority when he was a supervisor. 
Were other people interested in this position that Mr. Long has now assumed? Were other people approached about serving on the Planning Commission? And if so, how many people and by whom? Once again, I urge the residents of Brecknock to carefully observe and be wary of how these pieces on the Brecknock chessboard are now being moved about. What is the ultimate plan here? Is it to better serve the township, or is there some other ulterior or self-serving motive? Is the township truly moving forward for everyone, or just some? Is this a return to the alleged backroom politics of previous times, where the township was left in bad shape for others to fix? Times to highlight it, it's not what you know, but who you know. Call me concerned. 